what is the role of culture in the lighting design? Um, we always design from a context. So in that way, culture is always an important issue. Culture, of course, we know that varies across geography, but also over time as well. And, and it is not something that's uh, very concrete. Um, and it's, it's something that describes the behavior of a group of people. It's a main topic actually um, in our teams because we are split all over the world. Actually, when I count, I, be, I think we have people working in our Berlin office from 10 or 12 countries, different countries from the South Americas, Asia, Euro, all spread Europe. And they have different cultural backgrounds and we um, consciously we use them for concepts. So if we have a new project, like let's say a skyscraper, sky, skyscraper facade, it's only, it should be a landmark. And of course we have to keep in mind that a skyscraper in Hong Kong, the client wants other things than in Europe. As a lighting designer, we need to take stronger interest into understanding photobiology neuroscience as well as social science. So we need to sort of really embrace a much, much wider discipline than what lighting design is. And that's where the success could be. Because by doing so, then we can anticipate more of what the culture could develop into in the future for different places, different buildings, and, um, and for different people. How we apply culture in a project? For example, we worked on the underground stations of Amsterdam, the metro uh, stations. And um, what we try to do there is to really think about where is this metro underground? It's in Amsterdam. It's like the important city where a lot of tourists go to. How should you be welcomed? The environment is very historical. It's very rich of uh, details. So if you go underground, it shouldn't be like this rundown area. It should be also the same kind of quality. So uh, when working on a lighting design, we don't only look at the functional lighting you need to find your way, but we try to create an atmosphere that suits the culture of the city. In Abu Dhabi, culture is really, really important. Um, there is, uh, you know, in some areas of the Middle East, they've lost the culture. It's, it's expanded so quickly uh, that there's nothing left of, you know, the heritage. Abu Dhabi is trying to take a different approach. It's trying to move forward. It's trying to expand. It has to expand but not lose its identity and its religion. So everything we do maintains that, you know, it's, you know, everything is about not creating necessarily event spaces. You know, we have those as well, but there are areas with we have things called sikkas, which are little tiny Arabic alleyways, which are maintained in new projects. And these are where people just meet and gather in the communities as well. So yeah, everything is very, very focused on that. And the lighting is trying to stop you know, um, taken over. It's really just reinforced that side of it. And, you know, 400 mosques that we're building as well, and they all have little uh, garden areas as well on the outside. So, you know, we're, we're making a big effort to, to, to keep this going. I think people in general are the, the main uh, objective to think about when making a lighting design.